If you need a steady hand by ship or plane, you found one. I'll be ready to serve when the time comes. I hear Eivor needs men. And by Odin, Eivor needs me. Raid with me, warrior. For plunder, glory, and Valhalla. Soma, to understand your people well, I should better know you. How did you rise to the rank of Jalskuna? My king Guthrum led the summer army through this land. When he marched into Wessex, I volunteered to defend the city. To encourage trade, so that our forces would be rich and strong if called upon. Guthrum agreed. So I grew the city up from very little, and I fell in love with her. It was a dagger to the heart to lose it, and a balm to have it back. If I can find your traitor, what will you do with them? They will die by my hand. No pain, no public humiliation. A traitor or no, the bastard is also one of my closest people. My friend, my family. Only I will bear the burden of causing their death. It will not muddy the minds of any other. That is enough. Why do you love Grandbridge so deeply? I was orphaned young, but old enough to remember it. I feel I've been reaching for a family all my life. Grandbridge is more than some silver boom. She's a place for me to build that family. For anyone who needs one. Wanderers, smugglers, and craftsmen alike. That's all. Good luck, Eivor. Thank you for doing this. <laughs> Soma was smart to build this tunnel. This tunnel leads to the longhouse. The trader marked it with a yellow cross, then opened the way and let them in. The trader must have exited here with a few more, heading away toward the riverbank. A trail of yellow paint drops.
blasted, cursed, horrible rats! Da -da -da -da. Someone hauled this bucket of yellow paint all the way down to the riverbank. They quickly painted a longship beached here, and they sailed off with allies to help crew the vessel.
kommen. Fast ihnen. Did you see anything the night of the attack? Only Lif, fighting bravely. Did you know Lif carves a poem in each of his longships? He's a craftsman and a wordsmith. Where are these longships now? Lost in the fog of the Fenlands, sadly. If I could reclaim them, I would. To return his works of art, he'd be so grateful. To be sure. Good luck to you. And running again, Soma doesn't waste time. Sit a while and play, friend. Orlok, I'm interested. Orlok, a game of skill. Orlok, <laughs> how about a game? Let's begin. All right then, let us begin. This will do.
my game, stranger. Just give up. Are you even trying? How did what? Another time, Brad. Hey, stop looking. I know you're there. You, Dane, come closer. What do you want? You look to be a good fighter, but do you dare to face the greatest battle you will ever know? Of what do you speak? I speak of a terrible and monstrous incorporeal power whose name is feared across these lands. Fergal the Faceless. The most fearsome flighter in all of Grantbridgeshire. Oh. Ooh. A flighter. Is that all? Fergal the Faceless has silenced doubters before. Will you challenge him? I will face the Faceless. <gasps> My god. You are braver than most. Or perhaps more foolish. Come, I will give you a key. This key unlocks Fergal's lair, which you see now before you. That's a house. No, no! It is a den of nightmares! A pit of death from which few have ever escaped unharmed. By words. Unharmed by words. Go, go now, and God be with you. <laughs> A new victim? What fool dares to challenge the might of Fergal the Faceless? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor of the Raven Clan? My next meal. Are you prepared to be eviscerated with words? I think I will survive. I am Fergal the Faceless, and I am clever and strong. But you're not. You're ugly and weak, and you're a big smelly coward. You're probably too scared to even face me, now that I think about it. Sorry, have you started? Yes, obviously. I said you're probably too scared to face me. But your rhythm is clumsy. You'll never outpace me. Ah, you think you can win with rhyme, do you? Well, if you like to rhyme, listen this time. I'm very brave. My flighting is grave. I'm not a knave, and it's victory that I really crave. Your tongue is fat. You're a sprat. You whine like a little brat. And we are in a spat. Says the flighter who hides in a hole like a rat. Oh, you've made a terrible mistake. Be ready for my finishing blow. I am the best at flighting. I have got powerful skills. I'm strong as an ox and clever as a fox. I'm sharp as a dozen hawks. Let me show you my skills, and then you I shall kill dead with my... my skill.
If we're arguing as to your talent, I shall happily die on this hill. You... Uh, well... I... Uh, just one moment. I, I... I need to think. Give me time. Fergal the Faceless or Fergal the Wordless? No, you get ready. The killing blow is... It's coming. It's... Fergal? Hello? Soma, to understand your people well, I should... That's all. Good luck, Eivor. Thank you for doing this. Feel stronger already. Think you can swell with the back? My poor fields. God, why did you send so much vermin? Mm -hmm. Tough lands, old man. Those rats. I tried everything. I poured lye, I harvested locusts, I hired children to kill them. I need an army of miracles. They are pesky and have ravaged your good crop. Nah, the gods can't get at rats. Ha! 
You heathens and your gods. All I want is to rid my field of rats. Feed the fair folk of the Shire. You need natural warriors to keep them at bay. Rats, be gone! Blasted, cursed, horrible. Blasted, cursed, horrible rats! Strike of the tune. 
Is there a sea skull among you? You may not know this, but Ragnar Lothbrok once asked me to lead his early assault on England myself. This would have been eight, maybe ten years back. It's hard to say. The winters blow into one another like a great white fog. But I remember as if it were yesterday. Ragnar appeared at my home unannounced. Naturally, I welcomed him. He had traveled a great Raise distance only to see me. So I poured him ale and fed him bread Sailor, and listened sail. as he talked. He was feeling anxious about his journey, leading so many men into such a great war. It was a burden he could not handle. It was then, with tears wet... Hold on, Monastery, over there! to pillage. This wind would fill the sail. What's going on? Out the side! Hurry! Over now! You're mine! <laughs> You're a cruiser! Thank you! What's going on?
Give me a hand with this! Ignorant wretch, die!
No racing the sail here. Sail! Catch the wind! Let's have a song. If Soma is just cursed with bad luck. Soma has only ever pleased the gods. Asserting her now, breaking your oath, that is what will bring us ill luck. I am honored you have joined us. What's your plan here? All the Shire support Soma's ruling the city. These hamlets do not. They're feeding and outfitting Wickman's army. So we will burn their homes, quick and devastating, like the thunderclaps of Thor. How did you come to be in Soma's clan? A vision from Evolva set me on this path. It pricked my mind like a splinter, then faded. But I wanted more. For months, years, I ate only henbane, mushrooms, sacred plants, hoping to see something new. But my body dwindled. I lived addled, maddened, a wanderer, taken in by Saxons and spat out again and again until Soma found me, naked and alone in the fence. She clothed and cared for me, humbled as I was. I owe her my life. Visions can be strange and powerful. What did you see? I was climbing a mountain. A lion and a snake upon my back, weighing me down. I struggled. And Soma appeared, and she eased my burden. When we reached the peak, there was hardly enough room to stand. On a point like the tip of a blade, we teetered there, gripping one another. Tightly. I know I can seem distant. Obsessed. But the gods are with us always. I see it as my duty to shelter Soma from their ire. What do you think of the others? Leif and Birna? Leif? He's a talented sailor, if a little enthusiastic. And Birna? Well... Birna thinks of life as a grand joke. She was a smuggler when Soma pulled her from the muck, making a living on lies. Birna is part of my clan, and I will fight beside her, irreverent as she is. But she has no care for her destiny. I am eager to start throwing torches. Now let's rid these hamlets of Wickman's rats. Light your torches and sit.
The red enemy of the branch will make quick work of this. Visited upon them all. Leave no house unburned. This is what they get for helping Rand. For licking Eldon and Wickman's boots. Burning roof thatch and heady turf fire.
Now that was something. Wakeman is sure to take notice. You stamped and roared like a fiery suitor himself, marching through the flames of Muspelheim. I'll see you back home, Drenga. <laughs> Send me an angel, my lord! Thonadelas wuda, is midelum, wolf head dum besetum, hegunyath, on for hegyath. You have lost your apples. But I have. Oh, a devilish wind took me over, and I worry for them. But I've saved the finest and the juiciest. Oh, these apples explode in your mouth with the iridescent light of Jesus. What makes them special? An apple is an apple. No. Oh, I beg to differ, my friend. You see, every year we make the pilgrimage to the west. Hammer's farm. Farmer Hammer, to the west. Yes, we call him the Hammer, and his apples are fine. Have this sweet iron tinge in them. My friends have already made it back. They are surely feasting already, but... I fell on some misfortune. My cart busted. Oh, me apple cart hath fallen! These apples must be eaten, they're too juicy to be left to rot! Oh, eternal thanks for carrying the crate. I'll be happy to share in the bounty of these apples with you, once we meet up with your friend. Oh, surely. We will share the Lord's work with you. The iron tinge, you will taste it. We all have earned it after fasting. Fasting? Is that when you lack food for your god? Yes, we show our devotion, remove distraction. But now, we give in to the fruits of our Creator's work. Sharing an apple with a friend is the most sublime experience. Oh, oh. <laughs> it is nice to sometimes sit back and simply enjoy an apple. Well, with our fortune always changing in life, it's important to enjoy simple pleasures. <laughs> oh, I am so excited for you to see my friend and eat apples with us. The act of walking, the pilgrimage we're going on. We will prostrate ourselves for Guthlak at the end of this glorious pilgrimage, drown in his reward. Here we are, our tiny sanctuary. Join in prayer for the apples, if you like. We bob. Bob? It is the only way to piously reap the reward of our Holy Father. Praise be to him. 
Full Eidi Halgan Arzuhuru? Et Dixa ad Eos Rapskiles Andreas Dominus Noster. Oh, Brother Holtwolf. And you've made a friend as well. Good to have you back. in nominis sui gloriam. Gentle if they spot me.
with me. the lads we have this We are as at the sea and as from. Max, where's Julian at first? Oh, my oh, God! Oh, go. Watch your limbs, Ben. Yeah, Julian, for your oh. shit. Fundias on the way, Rosa. Well, Matt, information. I have it. Do you need it? Well worth a little silver, I assure you. Yes, all right. Now, show me your map. There is a place... here.
Beer, this way. So I'm my eyes. gets longer, the nails grow, even when the corpse is cold. I've seen it myself. That's not true. You think what? There's a bit of life left in someone long dead? No, it's the fumes in the body. Odors grow after a killing, so they have to escape by any means they can. My muscle banded friend. There's a nest of Bigman's men just here. We're going to pick it clean. Every last one. The fewer lies in the bush, the less itchy the pussycat. That's how I see it. How did you come to join Soma's army? I'd been in England for ages before Guthrum, Ivar, Uppa, smuggling under the eyes of Saxons and Danes alike. I lied, stole, had my nose broken. Life wasn't easy. But it taught me how to bear the pain. I just laughed it away. When Soma took me in, she saw more than a smuggler in me. I was useful to something greater than myself. Useful to her vision. In a world where few saw you as worthy of trust, she's one who did. Right. And I love that about her. I love... everything about her. You seem to bring life and spirit to this clan. Does Soma feel the same? If I knew what was going on in another person's head, I'd find life dreadful and dull. But Soma seems to enjoy my company. In what way? Her own way. Just not in the way I'd like. Painful truths are easy to bear when you can laugh, you see. Delight in the face of suffering is an act of rebellion. What do you think of Soma's other warriors? Galen and Leif? Oh, Leif's got that raw animal pull. Every time I see him, I want him to climb me like a tree and nest in my armpits. He brays about being honorable, 
but I've never met a man of honor who starts a fire just to be praised for putting it out. And Galen, he broods like it's an art form. He's got this uh, self-importance that is just so charming. We could talk all day, but these Saxons may fly from their nest. You and I should take a closer look. My men will hang back and come running if things go sideways. Fighting beside you. See you I'll keep fight. going. Fighting beside you should bring a thrill. Happy I can see it up close. Don't get too close. I might black your eye or bruise your head. <laughs> You'd lose your elbow before the bruises showed. I must be careful now. You're light on your feet and quick through the grass. Sound carries over snowdrifts. I learned young. I practiced by sneaking in and out of bedroom windows every chance I had.
about this land, my friend. Watch my lead, no!
that's all of them. Ah, the solitude of after slaughter. Shame about the smell, though. Men shitting themselves. What do you see, Sunan? You fought very well, Birna. Is that how you flirt, Eivor? Is that how I what? Easy now, Drengir. I'll see you back in Grand Bridge. in the fields. That barley is my hard work. I built the silo and manage our trade deals. All the barley would rot if you were still in charge. Oh, don't spew hog shit. We both know it's because you're jealous. You use that silo to hoard the profits. Don't make me laugh. Jealous of what? You and your peasant friends. I take my fair share, you take yours. Enough. <laughs> Barley in that silo was watered by my blood and sweat. Yes, and you get your share of silver when I sell it. But you keep most of it. Of the thousand you made last month, I got a measly two hundred. 
I deserve the extra profit. I secured the sale and managed the tax. Endless hours of negotiating. You there, Dane. Who deserves more? The worker who makes the barley, or he who actually sells it? The silver should be shared equally. How am I to be encouraged to make all of these deals? My endless hustle, the paperwork, he couldn't sell his own eye. The barley would never even exist without me. My barley is known across Mercia and Essex. Sebi's slush. My soul is in the mug. Hmm. And eat your onions Situation every day. is strained between Someone these two brothers. What have we become? Reduced to animals. What have we become? Reduced to animals. Ugh, such a sad labourer. Without my wits, we'd be batting vultures away. Across Mercia, people know us because of me. I wish our parents would get along like they used to. Before, when there was no silo, and we all shared the barley. Seems silly to think who gets more or what. We have enough. They just fight like dogs. Dogs who forgot why they're even barking in the first place. <laughs> all they do is squabble. I remember a time when the barley brought us joy. We praised it, smelled it, rubbed it against our bellies. Aye, good farmer. I don't know what to do. I have such anger in me. Take a breath, drink some ale, and enjoy your hard work. No amount of silver is worth a broken friendship. Impossible, I'm afraid. When my blood boils, the world must know. In my home, there is only one way to settle this honorably. A home gang. You're right. Bollocks to him. I'll pummel him. Give him a taste of a laborer's fist. Fucker! <laughs> Come out and fight me! You think I am stealing profits from you? You are stealing dignity from me. If I must raise my fists, I shall. Oh, I shall! Eat this! <laughs> What have we become? Reduced to animals. I wish our parents would get along like they used to. Before, when there was no silo, and we all shared the barley. Seems silly to think who gets more. no other way oh my goodness our estate is aflame because the farmhands are needed defending against reavers my barley i can smell it burn oh god children has your family always been this quarrelsome yes they have but i hope that has changed thanks to your intervention even if it was drastic Thank you. Be gone with all of it. No, it has only torn us apart. <laughs> it is true that we were once all so happy. This is Perhaps for the best. Our fathers would fight forever Frost. otherwise. Our, our parents kept a happy way. Perhaps this will reset the balance and they won't be blinded by profit and Holy ego. Be ready. Just in case.
I shall inform the local Waffingas that he lives among them through traces of the Nephilim, the giant warriors who fought for God in their ancient time. They have left his presence here on Earth for us to absorb his light, the light of angels that have been infused throughout the Earth. I feel his power. He calls me my beloved, and I am calmed. I respondeth with my communion, my piety, and become another of his voices. something. Light and heat. I shall inform the local Waffingas that he lives among them through traces of the Nephilim, the giant warriors who fought for God in their ancient time. They have left his presence here on Earth for... Something is wrong. Foul. Cursed.
survey the area soon. Father's wallop is like none other. All it takes is one. His fist is a glorious basher of fools, full of great big scars and old dried blood. <laughs> one day I'm gonna be as strong as grandfather. I'll wallop the heads off oxen. He uses his powerful wallop to protect us. Oh, his legend grows with every day. He. With the topor le frog and. Oh, such a fine wallop it is. Little ones, what is this wallop you speak of? It's our grandfather, and be careful unless you want a walloping. I am certain my might could clove his wallop. Many cowards have said the same. He uses only one fist, one wallop, boom! Like a wolf, howling with its knuckles. Well, this wallop has me curious. Ha! Good. Destiny is coming to your plate. Grandfather, there's someone looking for a walloping! Hello. Yes, I have overwhelmingly powerful strength, but it is not worth talking about. If you are a drenger, we should tell stories of battle, swill a cup of mead around a hearth, and share our wisdom. You want some wisdom? Don't become a hero like I have. I'm cursed with this wallop. These children have made me curious. Your calm demeanor even more so. Oh, I beg you. There's no need for this to go where I feel you think it should. <laughs> you best depart unless you desire your face become a fist cave. Children, stop saying such things. I do not want to use it. I truly wish to see this wallop. I will break it with my humble fists. Oh, neither of us will enjoy this, I'm afraid. You're finished! Don't say I didn't warn you. The disappointment you will feel, I also... There you have it. As promised. Banal victory for me and my wallop. Oh, still unbeaten. Why, God? Come back if you want another taste of my endless victory. I know I don't want you to. Hi. I have returned. I see. Yes, it is. This is a... Time has come for you. So goes my day. Down you go. Oh, I've never been bested before. I'm shocked. Stunned. I never thought it possible. You have thwarted my wallop. You may have access to the treasure my wallop has sadly gifted me over the years. Various awards for bashing skulls. Oh, I feel liberated of my legacy. Now I can live the normal life that has forever eluded me. Thank the heavens. The treasure he promised. His wallop won him an ocean of riches. Hmm. The children kept a collection of those he had walloped. Hey, 
All my brothers! Time to die! This priest blows as much air as a hailstorm. He cannot be allowed to keep spewing. Hey! Did you sail Control through a storm? Fine day for being out, no? Soma said I would find you here, Leaf. What's your plan? We're ridding the world of a priest who spouts praise for the Elder Man and funnels tithes into Wickman's coffers. So the plan is this. We sneak in, gut the priest, and return to Soma. That will get Wickman steaming. How did you come to join Soma's army? We came to England together, sailing under Guthrum. The great summer army, the Saxons called us. When Guthrum left for Wessex, Soma stepped forward to lead. Something I would have liked to do myself. What would you do if you were the Jarl of Grandbridge? I would run the city in my own way. I would not give Birna and Galen's opinions equal weight. Do you not trust them? I wouldn't say that. It's more. Birna's boots are stuck in the mud, and Galen's are in the sky. If death were bearing down upon us, I worry neither would have what it takes to carry us through. You were there when Guthrun made Soma the steward of Grandbridge. How did that feel? Good fortune for her. When Soma took hold, the silver started flowing and the people started dancing. She knows trait. I do wish I'd been bold enough to put myself forward, to take on the burden and honor of running a city. But that's beside the point. Soma is my Jarl's corner, and I'm her sworn man. No act of any god will change that. As a master shipbuilder, what does your work require? Patience and love. I know each of our vessels as a parent knows their child. But building ships needs silver too. The hard wood, the tough fabrics, the expensive paints, the yellow I use, for instance, that must be imported. A high price for a happy color. I'm certain that's why someone stole my paint some weeks ago. Blasted thief. Good conversation, Leaf. Now let's take down Wickman's men. Too right, too right. Wickman's whelp awaits his reward. My warriors will distract the Saxon forces at the gate. You and I will find the priest. You know, I would much prefer a more straightforward approach. But for you, I'll try something new. How kind. Now keep your voice down. The guards here are vigilant. Wakeman's priest is in the church. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I may be a heathen in a Saxon size, but this church is not. I know good craftsmanship when I see it. Keep our wits about us. My breath, I did that! <laughs> See me. This will get messy. Good 
revenge on you! God, burn it! Attack on sight here. <laughs> Snuff you out. Soon.
You look thirsty as a flaming fish. Drink fast. Let's see the shimmer of... Ben the Hulk. We drink. Well struck. We made short work of Wickman's man. That we did. You've proven yourself an asset to us. I'll see you back in Grand Bridge.
all I have for now. Find me later. some time to collect more information. This land bears steep affliction. Show me.
I need your eyes, my friend. What? Dark spirits torment the <laughs> Sunan, guide me.
Keep your eyes open. It kills to get their hands on it. What's going on? You'll get nothing out of me. Nothing! Insects like you would not be crawling out of the muck if Wigman wasn't hurting. Talk! Something has happened.
Eivor, the plan worked. One of Wigman's captains caught him sniffing around Eurolyponte. Remember, you don't need to kill him. Have fun. I'll be planning our next move in the Longhouse. Little boy, little boy, where is your daddy hiding? Godless heathens. Grand Bridge is the province of Lord Wigman of Walden. The city is rightfully his. Poor soldier. Doesn't know what heathens do to men of God like him. Hasn't heard the stories, it seems. We can educate him. Look at those ham hands. Could make a nice pair of gloves. And his heart. A heart that beats in a lad like this? Feed a family of six for a week. Let's cut his throat now, and water the orchards with his blood. No, oh, sweet lord, no! No, no! He's on the Isle of Ely, Elderman Wigmund, in the monastery, I swear. Hmm, thought that would take till the next morn. Let's tie him up and let him rot away. Oh, fucking Dane halfwits! The lord will smite you from this land, all of you! May God have mercy on- <laughs> That home-thieving snake might have cast a curse on us. I couldn't risk it. Christians don't curse. Wickman's on the Isle of Ely. I'll tell Soma what we've learned. Come on, I need a challenger! Shall we lock horns? Down it faster than me, and you are the victor! Got a wager in you! Put your sil- All in! Ha! We drink!
What can I get for you? You would look very powerful with that. You would look very striking with this. You have an amazing eye for these things. You have an eye for craftsmanship. Always good to pick up new stock for the shop. Finished looking around? I'm off. Be well, friend. Thor himself could now drink me. Eivor, what did Wigman's little man have to tell us? Wigmund is at the monastery on the Isle of Ely, hiding among the church mice. I'll need to plan our attack. But I won't face him while the traitor he commands is still under my roof. So what have you learned? Birne used to be a smuggler. Hardly an honorable life. There is honor among even the lowliest of men. Danes know that better than most. Birna is in love with you. Unanswered love is a volcanic emotion. Birna has always been unpredictable. But she's a warrior grown. She does not let her emotions guide her actions. I found an empty barrel of yellow paint beside a longboat launch. Yellow paint was used to mark a boat the night of the attack. An odd time for a fresh coat of paint. But that's his work, is it not? Leif told me his yellow paint had been stolen. Yellow is a troublesome color to make. He was upset when his stores were stolen. Leif disagrees with how you run Grandbridge. This city thrives under me, as a bustling port for his longships, for instance. Leif wishes he had stepped up to lead, and to be where you are now. Leif has a celebrated place in my clan. As a shipbuilder, he is without peer, and he knows I know this. Galen puts his visions above everything, to the point of fanaticism. Visions are like clouds. Each person sees a different meaning in the shape, and Galen sees an important meaning. Galen told me he was near death when you found him, and saved his life. Yes, people thought him cursed. He was adrift in deep water. But don't we all deserve a guide back to the shallows? I found Galen's longboat painted hastily with yellow paint on the day of the attack. Why would he mark his longboat differently from the rest of ours? I found Galen's longboat painted hastily with yellow paint on the day of the attack. Why would he mark his longboat differently from the rest of ours? I found a message meant for Saxon forces. It said not to attack any longship painted yellow. You... You told me you found yellow paint on Galen's longboat, didn't you? Your secret tunnel had many footprints nearby, and its mouth was painted with a yellow mark. Whoever betrayed you, they did so by marking the tunnel entrance, then opening the way to let the Saxons in.
That's all the evidence I think we need. You've been thorough. Who is the traitor? Galen betrayed you. Are you certain? This will be the hardest thing I have ever done. Stay close by me, Eivor. I will need you. I have an iron... How do you plan to deal with this? As a leader must. My family, my inner circle. Today we make sure what has happened to us will never happen again. We end Wigman's life. But not all together, for you cannot survive the winter with a rat in your larder. Galen, you have betrayed me, Galen. I haven't! Soma, you're the key to my life! You must lead me to my destiny, carry me to the summit of victory! Do not warp what is real with the stories you tell yourself. I have seen no signs of your destiny. What I have seen is my people <sighs> slaughtered, my city befouled, and your delusions fueling the destruction. How dare you think your destiny, your greatness, outweighed all of ours! <gasps> he believed too much in fate, and not enough in us. Take him away. I feel as if I have torn off my own arm. Wickman deserves death. But killing him won't make your family whole again. You think I don't know? This is for those who follow. To join me is to take an oath. To break it is to suffer. We make camp on the outskirts of the Isle of Ely. Join us there. She carries the weight of leadership on one shoulder, and the bonds of her people on the other. Now that she's lost one, she walks lopsided. Will take years of toil to rebuild those bonds with her people. Yet she is unburdened now. Lighter. She is a leader, not a friend, Eivor. Her mistake was thinking she could be both. Come on, I need the challenger! Nowhere I'd rather be than splitting skulls by your side. Come, show me your valor in battle and earn your place at the great table.
Was in Vantadi lead it? My poor fields. God, why did you send so much vermin? <laughs> Feel your army of cats have a destiny unrealized. You are a Freya of the fence. What? Who the hell is Freya? Is she the whore that tried to eat my cat queen last week? She's a goddess, much like you, with pious and mighty cats that help her fight. Show your claws, good lady. Oh, yes, mighty. That is what they are. And me, their goddess. Hmm. <laughs> If you want, use this key and see for yourself, Ooh, my pretty babies. There you are. Head to the fields. Tut tut. Fight your battle. Cats are sacred beings. They help keep harmony. Your rat problem has been taken care of, pray to Freya. I never thought the meow of cats could soothe my soul. Take this key. In my house I have some goods. Please help yourself. May I see your stores?
You are looking. I must take my. Fight well, Eivor. Good day, Eivor! The fish are biting! Good day, Eivor! Thank you for this. Whether fur, meat, or bone, we will provide only the finest. And if you intend to go hunting, consider bringing us your kills. We will prepare the hides and heads. Aye. I've been mounting Petra's trophies for years, and she's a discerning woman. In all things. I'll keep that in mind. Enjoy your new home. Eivor, you seem to be someone with a penchant for trophies. I do like victories, but I rarely keep a record of them. Your weapons show the marks of great battles. And you walk with a pride that speaks to your triumphs. Am I wrong? You are not. Why do you ask? To bolster our trade, of course. Wallace is the finest tanner and taxidermist in all of England. If you wish the tales of your hunts to outlast you, there is no better way than making trophies of your kills. If you defeat a rare and worthy creature, bring it to us. We will display it for you. A good idea. Keepsakes to adorn the Longhouse. Thank you, Petra. Oh, and before you go, could you spare a moment for a small favor? Go ahead. For the past few evenings, I've heard the howling of a pack of wolves just beyond the border of our woods. Unchecked, they will ravage the wild game in this area. And once the deer are dead, they may turn to us. You feel we should drive them off? I would eliminate them entirely, with your permission, of course. And your help, if possible. A good idea. I'll join you now. Good. A pack of wolves is a foolish thing to underestimate. Let's go. This way. I last saw them prowling around just up the hill. You lead. I'll follow. Our settlement is in quite a nice spot. Beautiful terrain, and the animals here are healthy and populous. But wolves are a worry. It may be why the Ragnarsons moved on. Humans upset the balance of nature, and nature pushed back. By attacking us. A wolf will do whatever it takes. They were displaced. Now they come to our door. Come this way. Look here. Breadcrumbs and crusts. They must have stolen something from Tarbin's store, or off a table somewhere. You saw breadcrumbs from where you stood. They stand out clearly from the soil and grass. See there? Come, this way. Ah, smell that. That's a male wolf, marking his territory, warding off the competition. How do you know it's a male? A different odor. You pick it up. How did you come to be such a skilled tracker? My family were hunters and trackers. From further east than you've ever seen, I imagine. 
But I've lived in England for most of my life. This is where we found Wallace. You two are siblings as Sigurd and I are siblings. Bound by honor, not blood. Yes. To hear my mother tell it, we came upon Wallace abandoned. A babe in the woods. We took him in. Look. The wolves made a kill here. They're in the area. Those trails. They must have dragged the poor beast away. We're getting closer. Ah, see those teeth marks on the carcass? They're different. This is the pack's doing, not just one. That's right. Let's go on. So, your family found Wallace in the woods? We were traveling through the forest when I spotted a white elk ahead of us. I chased it, hoping to take it down. I lost it as I came to a clearing. And there on the ground was a wee babe, our little Wallace, swaddled and alone. Ah, look at that, the pattern on the grass. They slept here. I am impressed, Petra. You have a raw skill. You have seen nothing just yet. So, you saw a white elk, and that led you to Wallace. That's right. It felt fated. We took him in and nursed him back to health. I was scarcely more than a toddler myself then. And from that day forward, we were raised as brother and sister. Hmm. These kills are fresh. They're likely near enough to hear us. Probably fled the scene not long ago. I think we found our wolves. You there! Get to cover! Eivor, with me. Let's end this. I'm at your side. <sighs> there. That should be all of them. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, both of you. Are you all right? Were those your sheep? They were. God take them. They were all I had in the world. Poor blighters never stood a chance. I lost my cows some months back. Now the sheep are gone. Frowning Jesus, what sort of farmer am I? I'm sorry for your loss. With the wolves gone, you can recover in peace. Not without the blessings of God, I won't. But I shall try. You have your life, farmer. With that alone, you can always rebuild. Ava, hold. I hear something. What? I don't hear... Oh, oh, goodness gracious me! Felix! Rosemary! My beauties! You're alive! Come here, my precious angels! Well, that worked out. This was grand, Ava. You hunt almost as well as you fight. Give me a few weeks. I'll learn to track as well as you. Or better. I would be happy to be so humble. This was a joy, Petra. Do not hesitate to call on me the next time you spot any errant beasts. You were the first on my list, Eivor. See you soon.
Salve, Eivor. We have not yet been introduced. I am Octavian Claudius Britannicus, a collector of Roman relics. Quite a name you have. If you are wondering what good I will bring to the settlement, you need only look to the greatest empire the world has ever known. Yes, I've seen their great ruins. Always impressive. But you have not seen them restored to their former glory, and I can help. Of course, I will need a place to store my collection. I will build you something when I can. Have patience. What is it you do here again? If you find any Roman artifacts out there in the world, bring them here. I'll appraise them and see they're given a good home. With me. I have to go. See you soon. A bonum fortunum in your travels, Eivor. I'll see you later, friend. What have you got for me today? Beautiful, beautiful. Nature is amazing. like to see what you have in done for now I brought something for you bringing me this would be helpful this will be a great help <laughs> I'm looking for this Good. This will help the settlement. We always have need for this. Nothing else. I must be... Until next time. Eivor! Good to see you. I have to go. Goodbye. Greetings, mighty Eivor. I would join my axe to yours. To me, warrior. Let gold and glory be our meat and mead. While you were away, your Jomsvikingar helped to serve other Jarls. Here is the tribute they earned. I would like to reorganize the crew.
found who you needed? I'm off. You... One sky when you open it. Look like you know a thing or two about dice. Ah, Orlak. Yes. Oh. Let's begin. Straight into. This will do. Interesting. Like this. Hmm.
soon. Very good. Defeat is eminent. Interesting. This will do. I'm not done yet. Let's begin.
easy on me, will you? Mine. You are really good at this. This will do. Getting good at this. How did what? I've had enough of. We're off. We must row in these waters. To the Swan Road. Can't raise the sail yet. Sing us a song. You Salskjals got a story. Some years ago, I took to sea with a sword dancer called A. Run up the sail! A brooding warrior with a face of stone and all caught off. We shored up along the edge of a forest and explored until we came to people parks. A large farm. It was night and all were asleep. So we set about plundering the place in the quiet of eve, taking sheep and goats as we pleased. It was then that Ael saw a farmhand and pressed the boy for the family's hidden silver. The farmhand squawked like a crow. Being hid beneath an anvil at the smith's forge, the silver was no trouble to lift. In secret, we took it and the boy back to the ship. It was then that Ale grew sad, for when the farmers woke with the crack of day, they would know they had been robbed, but not by whom. So Ale ordered three of us to follow him back to the sleep-hushed hamlet. As we burnt the houses, Ale shouted his name. I am Ale, son of Skatlagrim, and I am the man who deprives you of everything but your life. Save it for later. Where 
were you? I am Ael, son of Skatlagrim, and I am the man who deprives you of everything but your... We can continue later. But your life. I never sailed with Ail again. Go pick up from there. I am Ail, son of Skatlagrim, and I am the man who deprives you of everything but your life. I never sailed with Ail again. with you. is lost in hell by now. They will have the lost souls of the dead to answer to. Soma, Eivor, you're still with me through all this. Do not think I'll forget. We all need someone in dark times. Now let's collect Wickman's head. Good. At the first sign of trouble, my crew will jump in. He's hiding. At the summit of the hill, I can smell him. I hope he likes the view. It's the last he'll ever see. Lightning tingles my blood, Eivor. I hear the voices of my slaughtered people on the air, calling Wigman's name. He doesn't leave this monastery alive.
Wickmond, probably cowering within the monastery. That reminds me. Oh, never mind. Thought the stew's hot today. Oh. Stop the heathen! Raider! Viking! Stop her! to erase me, to banish me from your minds. Fight in my name. Die for me. Die for me. That is no way to call for sacrifices. Their lives for yours. Is that how it works? Their lives meant nothing. No land, no riches, no titles. But my name will live on. The reputation of a good man never dies. But your name will soon be a curse. So be it. The riches I had in life gave me power. To curse me from beyond the grave gives me still more. Though I die, my order lives on elsewhere, everywhere. Yield to us. Give us what we are owed. The trade, the riches, the legacy, all of it.
Yield! 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 If your hell is real, I'm glad you get to see it. We should return to camp before I let go. What the damn you? God won't let us lose. Trust. That will take longer to repair. But we have a new friend and ally in me and my clan, Soma. The end of the storm is well in sight. Eivor, you've been a guiding light. Calling out Galen like that, exposing his treachery, made me sick with a quiet terror. I'd have done the same in your position. That is calming to hear. Which reminds me. I have this for you. Keep it, knowing you have my highest respect, regard, and trust. My army is yours, should you need it. So my Yalskona, my deepest thanks. And there's something else. As we prepared our assault, Birna had a word with me. We came to a sort of understanding. It may be best if she tells you herself. Until next time, Eivor of the Raven Clan. I hope we will see you in Grandbridge soon.
Birna, you struck quite a victory today. Don't undercut your own ferocity, Drengir. It was your blade leading the charge. You are indeed something to behold. We all fought hard, and now Grandbridge is yours. You have your home once again. Ah, soon merchants and priests and reeves will run loose in its streets. All of its muddy charms will dwindle. Besides, with no room for me in Soma's heart, my home burned away in a quiet little house fire. Her priority is Grantbridge and the people in it. That is noble, and beyond what I will ever understand. So I've decided I'm of better use elsewhere. With you. In your crew. You want to live with the Raven Clan? And sail and raid with you. If you'll have me. Look at this. Who would it? Good to have you, Dringer. A relief to these ears. I've already packed my bags. me back to run. Best tell her the good news. Race the sail here. Sail! Pass the wind!
This is a place for proud converts like myself. I seek those who wish to join the great and superior holy path I am on. Hey, monk. Egg of your faith. Have you recently tested your faith? Considered the holy path? It is a better way, I swear to you. I am content with my gods. Not as content as I am with mine, I am sure. He allows me to avoid rage. I am never angry. Never. Good for you. Without anger in my life, I am completely changed. No longer obsessed with riches like you. They are meaningless because he loves me. Go ahead and burn my house. Destroy my belongings. I will never get angry. You see this? Burnless. Make of mine what you will. You could burn it to the ground and it will not change me. Down. Make a pyre of the past. And all of this homestead, the livestock, this is all yours. They are not mine, but God's. I have converted to God, and now I share all things. Yes, you mentioned that. You see? I am not angry. Make yourself at home. It you will soon change from your pagan ways. Go ahead, destroy more. My faith cannot be broken. Thank you for sending this devil to test my faith. Curious, good man. What were you before you became so devout? I was just like you. A stupid heathen. Lost and violent. Speaking of which, you should try praying before it is too late. Too late? For what? The eternal buckery you possess? And now you stand. I worry that stool is covered in shit. What is this? Oh no, that's... I mean, that key. Do what you like with it. Throw it in the river. My faith will not budge. This hut reeks. As if... a battlefield. Corpses. These your other converts or your past crimes. You desecrate my integrity by insinuating such. But my faith cannot be desecrated. Praise be to my lord. Praise be to nothing. What crimes lie beneath your veil of Christ? What crimes have you gotten away with? You are no convert. You are a filthy opportunist. The church gave you riches. I am a strong, Christian, mild-mannered man of the cloth. My pagan past is gone. I am... A hypocrite. With not a shred of honor. You should pay for your crimes. People die unjustly in your newfound faith. I gave you a chance, heathen. I am a better, richer man for what I did. I changed course and... Fuck it! I am still the blood-hungry whore I once was. Fucking die, you putrid shit-eater! Die a thousand ways and times like the others. You would have sworn an oath to a pile of shit, you liar. Full of false pride. You should be judged at an alding for your crimes.
Stretch your wings soon. We need an epic tale. You might not be aware, but I am a man with considerable shipbuilding craft. In my youth, just 13 winters old, Stop I that. designed an improvement to our dragon boats. Save it for later. <laughs> of the world what ails my mind must be a hangover over here good warrior uh, hi stranger excuse me i have a slight pain do you notice anything on my head it's a uh, an itch or a cut that simply won't go away it appears to be a a battle scar. Ah, as I suspected. It must be from my most recent battle. You should see the other man. He got the worst of it. Worse than... I suppose it's possible, yes, if he is headless. My arms are numb from battle. Does it need any dressing? Do you think it is a serious wound? Good Dringer, you have an axe in your head. It is grim. I will take it out, but you will surely head off to the next realm soon. Ah, Valhalla it is. I appreciate your candid response. Now I prepare myself for the sights and sounds of the Corpse Hall. I will relieve you of the pain it gives you, send you down the Bifrost. It is time. You know, there's a great mead hall nearby. We could go there and reflect on our greatest exploits. Nothing finer than an endless night of drunken glory. To make you forget all of the dishonorable fops in this world. Just scolds and warriors full of mead and story greed. Oh yes, let me weave you a hero saga from dirt and spittle. This one lust. All your enemies have been slain. Now you rejoice.
Kill them! Die!
clean again. I can still smell it. Oh, I can taste it. Oh, God. The war is over. Smells this like a trap. Change. These berries are the only thing keeping me alive in the face of such a vile smell. Hey, child. Your home is cursed with shit. I wish I could laugh, but... I cannot. Yes, that rank odor is from the devil. The devil who produced me with this prick. Oh, that smell. He dips his arrows in cow dung and never washes. Says it brings him luck. We're doomed to choke in father's shit house. The cow dung he keeps is in those crates. It has mutated into the most unholy of pungent monsters. Oh, oh. Be careful in that stranger. The smell could kill you. <coughs> Need to be careful here. <laughs> The stink from those crates is gone. But in my experience, if you do not cure the source, shit returns. My father, Diggolas, he's a famous archer, but he never washes. Never. I'm going to confront him, that pox. Mother, I'm going to get father back. I've had enough. Change is in the air. Literally. One day get down, but my heroic odor will persist. It is what gives me my special powers. God told me. <laughs> it's not my fault. My filth is useful. My arrows are more deadly, covered in shit. No one was complaining during war. Leave me to my ambrosia of mud and might. Soon, my clan of mud warriors will enlist me again in a new war. Ow, my mud coat! Ah! I'm soaked! Ah, water! I hate water! My coating is gone! Shit has run off! 
off! Mother, you won't believe it! Father has been cleansed! We can live without the toxic clouds he once produced! Thank the good Lord! Baptized again, my beautiful Degolas. My love, you are finally clean. Our home also. Come here, my love. I can see your skin again. How does it feel to be clean again, Digoles? This clean feeling is strange to me. I was happy as a degenerate mudball. I never worried about these vain ventures. Your desires are not always those of your gods, your family, and your, well, those you lie with. I feel I've sold my war yourself. The grime inspired my bow. My shit arrows would strike fear into my foe's... nose. Well, I'm certain your arrows will still fly true. You did not lose your archer's skill. Only time will tell. Be well, stranger. Good day. A new customer. You I do not recognize, my friend. What brings you to settle here? Are you merchants? Ah, 
Ah, hello, hello. Are you the leader of this bustling encampment? We come on behalf of a thousand eyes, vendors of uncommon goods and exotic treasures from all corners of the world. If you need it, we have it. If we don't have it, you don't need it. Such is our pledge. I see. And is this child with you? Child? Child? My friend, you look upon the master of the thousand eyes, the head of our guild. A legend, a hero of the people, and the richest merchant west of the Indus, you look upon Redda! He means you? He does, Eivor Wolfkist. It is a pleasure to meet you at last. You seem strangely familiar. But most likely, I have a common face. And what is it I can do for you, or you for me? It's quite simple. For a fee, I can connect you to a shadow market that stretches from the dunes of Egypt to the moors of England. What sort of fee? It varies with the item, but there is a small hitch. Through this market, all prices are paid in opal. Interesting. What a strange color it has. May I hold it? You may hold it and keep it, Eivor. A gift from Reda for your immeasurable hospitality. Now look here! Browse what wares I have on offer! Nothing for now? No matter. My selection changes daily. You will soon find something you like. Now that you are friends with me, you are also a friend of the Thousand Eyes as well. And what does this mean? Observe my outfit, not the scarf I wear. As you travel, you will meet many of my associates clad in these same vestments. These are my people, my other eyes. Seek them out for trade or contracts. Oblige them, and you will earn a tidy sum. And I might even feel inclined to reward you myself. An interesting offer. Good to hear. Now if you will excuse us, tend to secure. You're staying for a while, I suppose. Oh, yes, and you needn't even thank me. We would be honored to call this our home. Good day. Eivor, hey, have you seen Wallace? Petra, what is wrong? It's my brother. Wallace was meant to return hours ago, but I've seen neither hide nor hair of him. He's usually punctual. I'd like to search the woods for him, but alone I fear I would have little luck. Would you join me? Two could cover much more ground. We should go now. Do you know where to start? Near Peterborough. It's where he buys his tanning liquids. I know he sometimes makes camp at a crossroads between here and there. Greetings! What do you have today? Have you got a contract? Another day, another sea. Odds are that just think of the reward while you work. Keep you motivated. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. So long. Farewell.
And what can I do for you on this fine day? Bjorn Bloodtooth. Berserkers make fierce foes, but powerful allies. His strength would bolster our settlement. I should seek him out. beast or monster. Defeating it would only add to my reputation. I should meet this abbess, Wolf Hilda. We can retrace his steps. With luck, he hasn't done anything foolish. Is he prone to that sort of thing? Never. That's why his absence worries me. I told you how we found him, didn't I? You did. Led by a white elk to a lost babe in the woods. A fated encounter. Fated, yes. As if gifted from one guardian to another, he was bestowed on us like a... like a babe among the reeds. Over there. He may have stayed somewhere nearby. If he did, he left traces. Feed me. Be my eyes. Oh no! Eivor! Over here! A set of tools. If they belong to Wallace. Why would he take them from his satchel here? That leads below ground, to who knows where. Let's keep our wits about us. Careful, Petra. 
Look at its eyes. There's something wrong with this one. Strong scent down here. Strange and heavy. I don't recognize it. It has a familiar sourness, but I can't place it. Not the smell of death. It is almost pleasant. Must be Wallace's clothes. The trousers are wet. Probably pissed himself. Hmm. Wallace stayed here. Seems he made something to eat. Someone was wounded. A knife attack, I think. Oh my god, Eivor! Eivor, come this way! What have you found? Eivor! Here! What are you waiting for? I saw it, Eivor! I saw him nearby. Wallace? The White Elk! The White Elk that brought me to Wallace years ago. It was there. I saw it there. Are you certain? As sure as I see you now. He's back. I've got... As sure as... Petra! Where are you? Come! Petra! Hello! Mimir, guide me. Have I lost her too? Petra! Show yourself! It's getting dark! Ah, the elk. You will know where she has gone. I am... Um, I am sorry to trouble you, Lord. Eivor, nice to see you here. Are you the white elk Petra told me about? <laughs> of course I am. Look at me. It may be you can help me. Petra has disappeared. I need to find her before the sun slips away. No, no. Petra hasn't disappeared. She's close, very close, and waiting for you. Follow me. You are the guardian of this place. Deliver comforting life. Out here among the hills and dales of Mercia. Oh, I get on, you know. I eat, I sleep, I frolic. I want for nothing and enjoy every moment. It is a decent life. And what are you and Petra doing out here, lurking about in the woods? Hunting, maybe? In a way, yes. We're looking for her brother Wallace. She's been waiting for him all day. Oh, my dear, yes. Where could Wallace be? Oh, where? Oh, where indeed? Ha! Is Petra near? I fear we've lost her. She was here a moment ago. Well, what is happening? I cannot stay. Not here, not now. Take your evil back to Sutunger's Hall! What have you done with Petra? Petra, answer me! Evil, stop! I fear! I will make them talk, Petra. I must know the truth. 
I must know where you are. Evil, I am right here. There's no need to question the carrion further. Oh, yes. Sorry. Now come. I believe I know where we'll find Wallace. Up there. His trail leads this way. Petra, I met your old friend the White Elk. But he vanished before my eyes before I found you. You were visited. For a time. We talked until he vanished into the empty air. A shame, really. I enjoyed his presence. Ah, oh, look there. This is strange, say, dear Petra. Where are you? Oh, come on! I'm up here! Petra? How are you doing this? There's no trick to it. I think about it, and it works. Easy as walking. Try it. Again? Petra, how? How can I do that, Petra? Yes, just try it. Move! Run in a straight line! No, no, too far, too far. Amazing. You did it, just like your Soonan, and not a scratch on you. Now let's go. Wallace should be over there. Are you sure Wallace is here? I see no one. I believe so. We should ask the rabbits. They will know something. Of course, the rabbits. <laughs> We've been here before. This is where the wolves attacked us. Right. Let us hope their spirits are not restless and that they do not wake to maul us. Oh no. The wolf spirits have wakened. Good day, Squirrel. I hope I'm not intruding, but have you seen my brother Wallace? Damn! This one doesn't speak rabbit! Petra! Hurry! with nothing to show for it. Uh, so, what are we looking at? Wallace? You stone-brained stoat! We've been looking for you! And here I am! Freshly rested and ready to work. Your day's late! I was carrying quite a burden coming home. Slowed me down some, so I made a camp and picked some mushrooms for a nice soup. Turns out I picked some funny mushrooms, sent me into a tizzy, tore off my clothes, woke up naked and bruised in the woods. So I snuck home, naked as the day God made me, and grabbed some clothes. Now I'm off to get my tools. <laughs> mushrooms. So the elk. Just another dream. Maybe so. But don't scoff at dreams. They're often worth more than our waking hours. I may still be bussing from these mushrooms, but this is nice. I had fun today. Maybe we could do it again, without the mushrooms. We could, but I'll have to ask the rabbits for permission.
Good day, Eivor. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears. So have a look around. You may see a few new faces. We are allied with the Danes of Grandabridshire. Their Jalskona, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will pay off well. They will, in more than one way. One of Soma's finest fighters, Birna, has pledged her blade to us. She's a powerful fighter, and a charming spirit. I think she'll fit in nicely. Glad to have her. Good work. Eivor, a word of note. Someone has set up shop outside. A trader, I believe. I met him. Redda. A strange young man, but somehow charming. He'll make for fine company, I think. I look forward to knowing him better. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me more about Letterchestershire. I should like to join Sigurd soon. He traveled to a town called Repton, to meet Uba and Eva Ragnarsson. As I hear it, they are on the verge of exiling the current king of- A bold endeavor. I think you should. I won't keep them waiting. Good. I will send word to Sigurd and the Ragnarsons, pledging your assistance. If I were you, I would go by ship. Repton is quite a distance north, on the River Trent. Eivor, good to see you. Petra. Eivor, how are you? I should go. Let's talk again soon. What have you brought for me today, Eivor? You and Petra chasing a white elk in the woods high as wispy clouds, my god! I could barely breathe for laughing. I have something that may interest you. I'd pay well for this. I could really use this. Excellent. We always have need for this. All done. I'll see you later, friend. Happy hunting! spot. I've been saving these just for you. Can you remind me what... I buy and sell all manner of items. What's more, I am connected to a... What have you got for me to... Eager to find a new home for these. Go on. Give it a try. You've made the right choice with this one. This looks practically in bait for you. I 
I think that would be a very good choice. Can't have too many. There is always more where that came from. Done shopping for the day? We have talked so little since our first days, Yanli. I wish I had a more intriguing story for you. I came from Sun Sao, far from here. For this is not an exotic story. Do you miss your home? Yes, often. I intend to return one. Well, you're most welcome here. Oh, oh, I should soon have a few spy. Well. I must take my leave. I hope to see you soon. I would like to see what you have in... I do good. I'm up. Be what? I have to go and go in peace. Can you remember? 
remind me what you do here. Whatever you need for your longship, my husband and I are happy... But right now, we're more concerned with you building us a place to do our work. Okay. I must take... Goodbye, Eivor. Eivor, you really are a generous one. Enough for today? I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Until next we meet. Valkas among them. That's a damn fine stable we have now. Lord, look at it. I have something new to show you. May I see your stores? Can we do a bit of training? Absolutely. Remember everything I taught you. else I'll see you later friend make sure you talk to your raven regularly they like that
like to reorganize the crew. Good for now? I have to go. See you soon. If you need a steady hand by ship or plane, you found I'll be ready to serve when the time comes. What a pleasure to see you. Oh dear, it feels like it's been so long. Valka, my friend. You're most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. And your mother? My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams and will forevermore. That is all any of us can hope for. Indeed. Come. How was your passage? Exhilarating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. And how are you? In spite of your stoic look, there is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. A settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am... Looking forward to more. And your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way. We found a fine spot for you at the foot of the hill. Hmm. Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my mind some vision of this place. And how close were you? I saw the trees, and the water, and the rolling hill. But I could not foresee so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. A balm for sea salted eyes. Volka! God, Zepo, what brings you? Hope there isn't a curse on the settlement or some such. Ha! <laughs> the only curse on this place is their great lout of a blacksmith. It is a rare feeling to travel across the sea and still find oneself at home. This place feels powerful, alive. Do you foresee great things for us? No need for foresight. I feel it in my heart. Is that Valka I see? What took you so long to follow? Wanted to ensure the place was up to snuff. We must talk again soon, Randvi, once I'm settled. And before my arms fall off, what is this I'm carrying? My heaviest reagents, of course. Lead, whalebone, flecks of gold. Put this one to honest work. That is what I like to see. All these people you have brought here. This life you have built on these stranger shores. Does it please you? It does. To know that I have built this place and kept these people safe is a gift. You speak first of yourself when I ask this question. Which says more than you intend, I think. A 
Salve, Eivor. Ad Meliora. Good day. And who is that fellow? Octavian. A strange man. I think you'll like him. You see there? Your home is just ahead. Tell me about your visions. They are as they have always been. Little has changed, save their clarity. With every return, the things I see feel less like dreams and more like memories. And does the All Father still appear before you? From time to time, yes. He speaks to me as well, but... It feels mad to say such things aloud. I understand. You can put those just there. Thank you. And here we are. Lovely. Just as you promised. As soon as I am set up here, we can return to the matter of your visions. Valka, please. You are touched, Eivor. A conduit for godly tidings. Please, let me help. I may know a way to clarify these visions. An elixir that may open the door of your mind into the realm of the gods. If you think it would help, I can finish your home myself. Only give me some time. I would be grateful. Thank you, Eivor. Of course. And... welcome home.